It's the Testing World. Welcome to the first ever episode of TestingWorld.com. We're going to give you bold, strong content, fast and furious. And today's show is going to have two world premieres. The first from my good friend Alon, from the founder of Blazemeter and now Up9.com. He's going to be showing you a new tool that has just been launched this week called Mitsu, which is going to give you everything you get from TCP dump plus Google Chrome developer to capture traffic for things like Kafka and pods. And the second item I'm going to be bringing into this episode is the Mercury challenge. Can you automate in under two minutes, run and get some value? Let's start with Mitsu. This is the tool that I've been waiting for since I was playing around with things like Gator.ai, testing of AI systems. Things like Neo4j, GraphQL, and also your Kafka and Streamer services, it's always quite difficult to find out what's going on under the hood, especially once you deploy it into some containerized environment. So this is a great tool. All you need to do is go to getmitsu.io and download it. So when you download it, it's a very simple CLI. It works with all HTTP requests, so things like what you would do with a reverse proxy on Fiddler or you, something like Port Swagger if you wanted to capture REST or GRPC API calls. Once you've got the tool loaded and you're starting to co uh, connect to traffic and intercept it, you can see exactly what's going on in your cube. You can see the Kafka, what's running and capture all of the tra traffic, whether that's Zookeeper, Rabbit, M MQ or something much more bespoke. So I'd highly recommend download Mitsu, click the tap star to get all of the uh, API traffic and see what this tool can do for you. So I'll show you how to quickly download it. I have to apologize in advance. I'm running on a Apple uh, chipset M1 so I can download it and then just pull down the latest, uh, uh, you know, uh, pod or whatever you're using for your Docker containerization. Once you've pulled that down and you've able to hook into it, you'll get all the information you need. So what I'll do is on next time on testingworld.com, I will show you how I get on and give you a rundown on some great scenarios that might work for you. So go and check it now, download it, try your K8s and start capturing traffic. Welcome to this new segment, which I'm calling the Mercury Challenge. So under two minutes, we're going to create and automate using Curiosity Tool. So first of all, they're scanning this using the robot framework and quickly getting all the DOM elements. They're going to upload those page object models. And then what they're going to do is jump into the tool. So this is the Curiosity Tool testmodeler.io. Go check it out. All you need to do is create a demo example Follow the steps that you're seeing in this quick two minute video and drag and drop some of the elements of your favorite app and show how easy it is to automate it using model based testing technology. So quickly, all we're going to see is we're going to drag and drop some of those elements. So things like loading the page up. But what's really cool about using this approach is, of course, when you take the username and password, it's going to give you both the valid and invalid paths, which gives us more uh, routes through the system. So we're going to be able to do all paths through it straight away. What second item is really cool is it's got the baked in test data management. So you see there data gen, internet usernames and passwords. It's got a whole stack of pre-baked in valid passwords and invalid passwords. And as you can see, we're logging in as admin and admin one, two, three. But in this case, straight away, we've created all the different uh, scenarios, what you're going to need to give you full coverage and then we're going to run those. So under two minutes, it's going to, you could either bake this into your continuous integration pipeline. So you can see those three paths selected, or you could execute those in the Curiosity Cloud. So we're going to quickly execute those, find out the results, and we're done within two minutes, which is amazing. So what you expect from any brow uh, headless browser proxy is it's going to quickly run in a container and it's gonna come back and give you the exact results. So that's things like the screenshots, it's whether it uh, passed into the next area. So all that information, which we can quickly go and look at, it's linked it straight back to those selected paths. So I'm gonna go and click on one of the, uh, there and I can quickly see the screenshot, what it did, 
log in and logged in successful. Two minutes and ten. Until the next episode, party on testers.